What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Zechariah chapter 9. Zechariah chapter 9 is a powerful message. So I pulled up the Bible so I could be able to show you how this breaks down, give you some Bible tips so you could better understand what the Bible is telling you and what God is trying to teach you and for the Bible to come to life. So in this chapter, is actually we're going to be studying Zechariah chapter 9 to chapter 10, verse 12. That's the contextual chapter. So that's how it's broken down into this. This is how we study it in context so we can better understand what this is talking about. So this chapter, let's get right into it. So this chapter is broken down into three parts, in three parts. The first part of this is the, the preparation for the Messiah. The so Messiah is coming into the world. A prediction. This is a prediction that Alexander the Great um, would conquer and prepare the world for the gospel, the New Testament, spreading the Greek language. We see this in verses 13, but this whole this whole section is in nine chapter nine verses one to eight. So if we go to it starts at chapter um, verse verse one and it goes down to verse eight all the way down to here. And you will see that it'll cover this. It'll cover all that that's in there that I just told you, the prediction of the Greek and stuff like that. I'm going to also stick around to the end because I'm going to give you more Bible verses to be able to tie this all in so it can make sense to you as well. I'm going to give you some more. So stick around to the end so then I can help you a little bit more. So the second part is the first coming of the Messiah. Christ will come as a humble king and a savior riding on the donkey. So we see that we see that in chapter nine. I mean, verse nine. I'm sorry, chapter nine, verse nine. So we see that. So that's the that's what you'll see in that in this chat in this part. The third part is the second coming of the Messiah, and what you will see in um in this is Christ will come as an exalted king and a conqueror, a deliverer of his people. This is covered in chapter nine, verse ten to chapter 10, verse 12. So it'll be all of this all the way down to chapter 10, verse 12. And that's where you will leave off at, okay? So go it go all the way down here, and that's where you'll leave off at, at the end of the chapter, okay? So now let me tell you a little bit about what this chapter is about so you can better understand what what God is trying to tell you. The Lord is, the, the Lord is a God of encouragement. He keeps in mind that through all of his um, these messages, the Lord was encouraging his people. This encouragement came from and came through Zechariah, and it was for his people. Um, the series of promises that we see and the promises of great blessings to Israel, we see as well. This included both material and spiritual blessings. But the greatest promise of all was that the coming Messiah was on his way. God's Messiah will be the one through whom all other promises would be realized. It would it would be through it will be through and in Christ that all of God's blessings would be received. Now notice how the promises given in both the visions and oracles build upon others, each other, escalating towards the one central promise, the Messiah. Zechariah began in chapter 1 verse 8 with the promise of blessings for the for the present generation to encourage them to rebuild the temple. Now he moved towards through forward and he moved forward through time and into the future distance. Um, the first coming of the Christ, we see that gave you the breakdown for that. Next, he will move even further into the future and speak of a of the day when Christ will come again. We also see that. It is this second coming of the Messiah's towards which all the other promises are pointing to. And it is the second coming of Christ that will be a culmination of Israel's long history and its climax. And not only of Israel, but also the whole world. This is the subject of the present, the present passage, the prophecy of the Messiah's coming. People try to talk about the Messiah is not talked. The Messiah or Jesus Christ is not talked about in the Old Testament. Well, here you will find that in this. So let me give you also some additional um, contextual um, Bible verses to be able to compare compare these two. So there's going to come. Remember, I told you in the first beginning in verses 
uh, verse chapter nine, verses one to eight, you're going to come to where it comes to God will destroy Tyre and use Alexander the Great as his agent of judgment. You can all, I want you to also look at scripture of Isaiah chapter 23, verses one to 14. Again, that's Isaiah chapter 23, verses one to 14. And also Ezekiel chapter 26, verse one to chapter 27, verse 36. Also, you're going to see in that in that same area, you're going to come to the Lord will save a remnant of the Philistine believers and would be absorbed into this society. God's people like the Jebusites. So he's going to bring um, the Philistines into the into the fold and, tr- and cleanse them and stuff like that. So you're going to so to give you some more scripture is look at Second Samuel, chapter 24, verse 16. That's Second Samuel chapter twenty four verse sixteen, and First Chronicles chapter twenty one verse eighteen as well, and then you're gonna then you're gonna come to a point where it's gonna now you're talking about the second coming of the Messiah, and that's in chapter nine verse ten to chapter ten verse twelve, and you're gonna come to the second coming of the Messiah. Christ will come as an exalted king and a conqueror, the deliverer of his people. Check out also. Um, Revelations chapter 19, verses 11 to 24. Revelations chapter 19, verse 11 to 24. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, hit that thumbs up button. If you type in the comments, amen, I will give you a personal message. If, If you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your family. And I'll see you in the next video.